a woman, a tire that's flat, a disease, a desire, fears in front of you, fears that hold so still you can study them like pieces on a chessboard. It's not the large things that send a man to a madhouse. Death he's ready for, or murder, incest, robbery, fire, flood. No, it's a continuing series of small tragedies that send a man to the madhouse. Not the death of his love, but a shoelace that snaps with no time left. The dread of life is that swarm of trivialities that can kill quicker than cancer and which are always there. License plates or taxes or expired driver's license or hiring or firing, doing it or having it done to you. Or constipation, speeding tickets, rickets or crickets or mice or termites or roaches, or flies, or a broken hook on a screen, or out of gas, or too much gas. The sink stopped up, the landlord's drunk, the president doesn't care, and the governor's crazy. <laughs> or making it as a waitress at Norm's on the split shift, or as an emptier of bedpans, or as a car wash, or a busboy, or a stealer of old ladies' purses, leaving them screaming on the sidewalks with broken arms at the age of 80. Suddenly, two red lights in your rearview mirror and blood in your underwear. <laughs> and there's always crabs and ingrown toenails and people who insist they're your friends. There's always that and worse, leaky faucet, Christ and Christmas, Blue salami, nine-day rains, 50-cent avocados, and purple liverwurst. <laughs> With each broken shoelace, out of 100 broken shoelaces, one man, one woman, one thing enters a madhouse. So be careful when you bend over.